Hey y'all, it's me again, Joey. Today we got a swarm call we're going to, and uh, there's some relatives of mine called me. They've got an empty box and they want to catch them and put them in it. Uh, I'm gonna give them a hand. And they said they're in a zaya bush, I think, and they're real low. So this ought to be an easy, easy catch. Can't believe I just said that out loud, but I'm going to use the everything be back on this one because the box they want to put them in is a long hive or a top bar hive, and it's up in the field set up already. These roads are a little bit curvy, but I'm fixing to make my next turn here, so we'll see y'all when we get to the place. All right, the bees were in a ball here and they fell on the ground. So I'm gonna grab my bee back, bee back, see if I can get them picked up before they go up again. I've got to hurry, they, they fix and start moving. I think the limb gave up on them. If y'all can see this, that limb broke on them. Trying to find that queen while I'm looking. Yeah, yeah. Is the queen bigger than the rest of the bees? A little bit. Yeah. Can't get much lower than this, can you? No, nope. no. Nope. Of course, that's better, I guess, than being high up in that tree. Yeah. When did y'all find them? We first saw, spotted them last night, about 35 foot up in that tree. We thought they had left. We couldn't hear them. This morning we heard them again and we came looking and they were down, they had moved underneath the cover against the night song. They keep trying to get back up to right there on that limb. Uh -huh. That's probably where they were to start with. So I'm trying to get stragglers right. first and leave them there. Probably smelling where
Just to left, waiting for him to get up on the limb or something. I might smoke them and get them in the air. Oh, yeah. See how they landing on this vacuum? Yeah, I saw that. She's probably in the vacuum. Yeah, okay. Probably where it's uh, blowing out, they're, they're smelling it, huh? Yeah. This old tree right here is probably where they came from. Yep. They've been there for a long time. Mm -hmm. Some of these are shorter than the other ones, huh? I have to find the entrance. See how I'm doing this? Uh -huh. Trying to get that down in there. You kind of like scissor it in there. Instead of just pushing it down, just rub these two together like a pair of scissors. Uh -huh. And it'll kind of push those bees down in there. Okay. I missed that one.
They might. They can hang on to that bucket. I'd have to let them get settled in before yeah. you put that yeah, roof back, back, on back on it. Well, there you go. We got them in the hive. Um, the little limb just before we got there, I guess it kind of gave away and put them on the ground. And they were still pretty easy to get. Uh, for the most part, a lot of them kept trying to climb back up that little limb. And the ones on the ground were a little bit harder to get, but we was able to get them. Just had to be careful not to get into a lot of leaves and everything. But we got them and uh, put them in their little, little hive for them and everything. And uh, I told him he needed to be looking at them and make sure they're not cross combing or anything in the next week or two after they get settled in. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.